Hi, my name is Dylan, and this is my assistant Bob. Today, we are going to talk about math in Lego. Math is used in Lego many ways. Let's start with addition and subtraction. When you add Legos, for example, if you have a four stud brick and you want an eight stud rectangular brick, you would add another four stud brick to it, like this. Four plus four equals eight. When you subtract Legos, for example, if you have an eight stud rectangular brick and you take a four stud square brick away from it, it will leave you with a four stud square brick. Eight minus four equals four. Okay, now we are going to talk about multiplication and area. If you are confused when looking at a big brick like this one, to find how many studs it has, you would count how many studs there are on the width of the brick multiplied by the number of studs on the height of the brick. This will give you your answer. 4 times 10 equals 40. Now we are going to talk about fractions and percentages. I can show how fractions work with Legos by breaking bricks into smaller pieces. For example, if you have a four stud square brick and you want three fourths or 75% of it, you would take away a one stud brick. When you take one more one stud brick away, it will leave you with one half or 50% take another away and it leaves you with one-fourth or 25 percent. Here we have one-fourth or 25 percent, one-half or 50 percent, three-fourths or 75 percent, and one or 100 percent. Let's show another example of fractions. Let's take a one stud brick and put it here. Now let's take a one stud plate and put it next to the brick. This is one third of the brick. Add another and we have two thirds. One more and we get three thirds or one. Well that's all we have for today. Oh, and Bob, you know what to do. Yep. See ya.